Hi guys, so today I have a super fun video. Well, it's fun for me. I hope it's just as fun for you. So today I have a clothing and a wig review. They are all from Uvimi. They actually contacted me, well the lovely lady who owns and runs it contacted me and they let me pick a few items. I've never accepted anything where they tell me what I have to say. Um, so this is just going to be me talking my honest opinions. Talking my honest opinions. So this is just going to be me saying my honest opinions about this stuff and showing it to you guys and also if you do like any of this stuff there is a discount code you can use to get 10% off it is just code Catherine there we go um I don't actually know if that makes me any money I can't remember but like I don't really care <laughs> it, I mean if you want to use it then I would definitely recommend that if you're going to buy stuff on there anyway all of this stuff comes in these cute little pink bags which I love that's just adorable and like some actual thought has gone into the packaging which is nice so I have four items of clothing I got a dress a hoodie and a did I get a skirt yes I got a skirt I did get a skirt yes and then we also got a wig which I'm nervous to try on this is the dress and I just I, I just thought it was really cute <laughs> it is just a little like spaghetti strap dress if I can really hold it up properly and it has uh, skeleton hands over the titties and also skeleton hands over the bootay however uh, they are a little bit high up I feel like in the design it was supposed to be over the butt because that makes sense but when you put it on it's more over your lower back it's a bit more like a skeleton's just gone and grabbed onto your love handles, your little, your little, your, your hip curves, you know. That's, that's where it's placed, which is a bit odd, but it doesn't make me want to not wear it. It's still fucking cute. But overall, it's a really nice dress. Not a bad material. It's very sort of thick enough. It's not thin. You're definitely not going to see anything through it. I can't say anything wrong about it, to be honest. That dress is a uh, approved from me. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show you is the skirt, if I can hold it the right way up. This is one of those cool e-girl combat kind of shit thing, you know, that sort of thing. Very grunge. Um, it's really fucking cute. It has a chain, obviously, because you're not cool if you're not wearing chains these days. And this little side pocket, which has a moon and some sort of Japanese letters. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this is. I oh, wait, I remembered. It's actually shorts. It has shorts inside. The inner lining is shorts. How amazing is that? That that is I remembered why I loved this skirt so much. The shorts. Yeah, so it is obviously like a skirt on the outside. This is not this is not short. And then you have the attached shorts on the inside, which I love because I am really bad at being graceful and ladylike at all, but especially when I'm in a skirt, ass to the wind very easily and nobody likes putting their bare butt cheeks on like public transport or something like that so I always wear shorts under my skirts and dresses anyway so the fact that this is built in is just wonderful I love that more skirts should have that as a function because it's just who who would hate that I don't I... someone out there would be like nope I need my lips to the wind all the time which you know fair enough I like getting my ass out too, but I don't want people seeing my booty hole. Last clothing item is possibly my favourite, and it is a hoodie, but it has devil horns! And one thing which I didn't notice in the picture, probably just didn't look properly enough, which is properly enough. And it also has a devil wings. So yeah, it's actually really fucking cute. It does have a size chart on the website, which is really useful. Always check the size chart with this kind of stuff. I'm super happy with that. 
Oh, also the skirt comes with a belt that I forgot to show you, but hopefully I was wearing it in the try-on video over here. Sorry! So now we are on to the last item. The item I am the most scared of. <laughs> I did not try this on because I wanted to save this moment to share with you guys. Um, because I have... I just have no idea what's going to happen. So it comes with a, a wig cap, a breathable stretch fabric, appropriate length. Appropriate length. We love that for a wig cap. So my hair is actually, well, I say actually like people haven't noticed. I don't know if people have noticed, but I have very thin hair. Uh, it's sad. It's very sad. So it's not that hard to put up into a um, wig cap. I have worn many a wig before. Um. Hi, editing Catherine here. If you have seen uh, my video that I did on ADHD and how my brain can just not function <laughs> um, out of nowhere, you are about to witness that right now. This is something I would usually cut out of my videos, but it's so bad that I feel like I have to keep it in. Okay. Where did I put the wig cap? Hello? How do I always do this? How do I do this? How do things just disappear from me? What? What? My cat's just started licking herself beside me with her leg up in the air and I still cannot find the wig cap that I just had. I just had it before I started tying my hair up. I don't understand. Bitch! <laughs> Why is this my life? I'm not. Bitch! <laughs> What's the fuck? Is it under the couch? No. How have I done this? How have I done this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I tied my hair up with it. Guys, guys. Alright, okay. Yvimi, I just want to say that I'm so sorry that this is the video that your clothes are involved in. But, on the plus side, I feel like, you know... This is still some banging real life content and uh, you know that might that might gain that might increase the popularity of the video. Hopefully. Possibly. Thank you. I'm genuinely done with myself. Did you hear that? So I got one that was as natural looking as possible just because I have, as I said, I have really thin hair anyway so if you stick like a normal wig on me that's like really thick it sort of just looks so wrong um, yeah, really not nice, not cute so it's this blonde little short curly wig with some bangs and I just wanted to, I just wanted to see if I could um pull it off I guess I'm nervous should I brush it first I don't know it's it's all right it's not bad it's okay I'm fucking I don't know I don't know what's going on right now I think it might be too small for my fat head okay 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 we're on I really need to look in the mirror. Okay, so like, besides this weird bump, uh, just right here, I, I kind of like it.
Now, I don't know if I would wear this out purely because, um, you know, it was a it was a, a kind of cheap wig. It's definitely not got no lace front or you know natural looking parting but if you were able to like secure this down properly and actually knew what you were doing with wigs maybe I would trim the uh, bangs a little bit shorter just because they're in my eye and if I pull them up any more you're just gonna see more of that fucking <laughs> wig cap but like it's really fucking cute and um I'm going to enjoy taking a lot of selfies. I'm going to do the end of this video in this wig just because I'm going to have really gross flat wig hair when I take this off. So, uh, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really enjoyed filming this video. Thank you so much, UV Me, for sending me this lovely stuff. Thank you for watching. I shall see you in my next video.